Hey guys, it's a Wendy, aka Kitty Street. Welcome back to my channel. And guys, I am so excited. I have a couple of items I'm going to show you today that I have never, ever, ever seen at the Dollar Tree. Um, I also got my bottle collection that I've been doing to get my apothecary for Halloween done. I know we're only a week and a half away, but I'm trying to get it wrapped up because I told you in the last haul, I'm going to be going to, to Disney and I just thought I would pop it up and let you know again, hopefully by the next haul, you'll be seeing me in Orlando, Florida and I am super excited. I can't even contain myself. I'm like, let me show you some of the great items. I mean, a couple of them, I'm like, how do they make this stuff for a buck 25? I will never know, but thank goodness they do. And thank goodness they're bringing it to my stores. I love the Burr months, September, October, November, and December. They're my jam. So with that said, guys, if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will consider clicking that subscribe notification bell, uh, ringing the notification bell, comment, like, and share my video. I love to do these kind of contents, these hauls for Dollar Trees and other stores. And yeah, let me stop rambling and get right on into it. So let me show you one of the items because I just can't contain myself. So I'm walking around this store, this Dollar Tree store that's not really close to me, but it's close to a place that I teach a class at every once in a blue moon. And on my lunch break, thank goodness it was only a few minutes I could be in that store. I would have gotten in super, super trouble. I would have wanted everything. Whoever runs the store that I went into, I'm not going to name the, the name of it, but it's in Georgia. They had that place so nice. It was, I no nothing was on the floor. Nothing was um, jammed out on the, the shelves. Everything was in order. And they had so, I wish I had a thousand dollars. I'd have probably blew it in the Dollar Tree and I'm not lying. So luckily I had only like a 45 minute break and I had to get in and get out. And that saved me from spending my fortune because I need it for when I go on vacation next week, right? So guys, never ever have I ever seen a disco light in Disney. So this is an LED <laughs> and it's a pretty good size. I'm trying to give you an example, but I don't have anything in front of me, but it's a pretty good size. You know, it's about the palm of my hand, um, LED disco lights. Do you see that LED disco light? And I'm sorry for the glare. Um, I know you can't really um, see it because this is turned off. Okay. And it does require batteries. It requires three AAA batteries, which I've got another one I'm going to show you. So if you have issues with um, flashing lights or disco ball lights um, in a minute, you might want to turn your head a little bit. If you're having a party or you're doing something like for Halloween or if you're going on vacation and you just want your room to be um, spooky or lively or, or the disco 70s, here you go, LED disco light. Now I contain myself and I only bought two. I already second guessed myself. I wish I would have bought at least four because they're not big, but if you just want some little um, you know, special effects in certain areas <laughs> of your, um, scene you're doing for whatever they got doggone disco lights and I'm, I'm just tickled to death now i did find that little disco thing you pop into the end of your cell phone but it didn't work for the iphone so i couldn't use it i was actually trying to find out it just says it's distributed by the green bar industries i'm not going to waste any more time on it because i'm tickled to death i got some other stuff i need to show you so here i'm going to show you this is how it looks without the light on and it's still pretty cool in itself um and here is how it looks with it on so make sure if you're you don't like lights and things um, here it is just twinkling. I wish I had the lights off, but I'm not near the light switch, but yeah, here it is, um, with the little thing and it's actually, you can't see it on this. Let me see if it'll do it. Can you see that on the back? No, I don't know. Oh yeah. You might can see it a little bit on the white right there. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Disco. Uh, let me stop. They have doggone disco lights. I mean, what on earth? Dollar tree, dollar tree, dollar tree. I love it. I love it. I love it. You need to love it. If you love to decorate and if you do parties and if you just have people call you up and say, hey, I'm having an idea for a party, what can I do? You can direct them and tell them where to go. On that note, I have seen people hauling these, um, but they didn't come to my store. And I actually, this was at two different stores. It wasn't at the store, I got the disco lights. I've actually been holding these for a couple of days. This is one right by my house. I went in there one day to pick up some paper plates again because we needed them. They only had the orange ones. And then I went back just last night. <laughs> they had the, um, 
the black and white ones. So these are just by Crafter's Corner, I mean, excuse me, Crafter's Square pumpkin picks. And I always think when I think of these orange and um, black, white, black and white stripes, I think of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I, I'm probably now gonna have to think about doing some Beetlejuice in the near future. Not this time around because I, I waited too long, but I did say I was going to do my um, little decorations that I did. I didn't go full blown because I'm going to actually be in Disney World, Orlando, Florida for the Halloween time. So I just kind of did some black and white themes and I'll do some shorts before I go when I finish it up. But I wanted to show you that, yeah, even at the last, last of the last minutes, I found these and I had been looking for them for a long time. Another thing that I kept waiting for and kept saying, do I need this? Do I need this? Do I need this? And apparently I did need it. And it's the last sign that I'm going to buy this season for sure. And it's this cool one here that says, the neighbors have the good candy. And then you have the, <laughs> the little skeleton hand pointing um, that way. And of course it's distributed by the Green Bar Industries. I'm gonna hang this on my front door um, in my garage. Um, because I'm not going to be here on Halloween to distribute any any candy, which no one ever comes to my house as I live on a, a cul-de-sac anyway. But I thought yeah, for $1.25, I love the font of it. Now, it is glitter. Um, be careful of that. I thought just, you know, I, I couldn't pass it up. I, I went by it a hundred times, and they have a lot of good signs out, um, a lot of beautiful decorated ones. And I thought, you got about 50 signs of different things. Cut it out. But that one, I had to have it. Another thing I went by a hundred times and was like, why am I gonna get this? I, I kept looking at them and I thought, I don't need that. I don't need that, I don't need that. And then I messed around and was this was the store right by the one I went on lunch that day that had everything. And I said, well, let me turn it on. And I'm gonna turn this on, it's gonna be bright. And this one already had the um, the thing in it, the, the batteries in it, because those little circle batteries. Um, this is gonna get a little bit bright. It's super doggone bright. I mean, you can see that from a mile away, right? I was like, oh my goodness. And I had forgotten, and I don't think I can take them to Disney because they're, they're ceramic, but they had the ceramic uh, ghost in there that light up that I got last year that had the multiple different colors. But I went ahead and said for $1.25, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Uh, it just says lights up. And of course, I love the little scene for the little cat and the moon, half moon, crescent moon, whatever you call it thought of that. So I didn't see any balloons. I didn't see not a doggone balloon till to that till last night at this at the store by my house and they had all kinds. And I was like, Halloween's a week away, a week and a half away, whatever. And I'm going out of town and I just thought so they had pumpkins, they had skulls, they had um witches I think, something else. But because I'm doing a black and white theme and because baby Zaire loves balloons, I'm still gonna blow these up and you'll probably see them around in some things. I may do some shorts with them because this, he is definitely my grandson because I happen to adore balloons, all types of balloons. It could say anything. I know if you've been watching my hauls, I usually haul some of them. I did not get any balloons this year for Halloween for one reason is because our stores in Georgia, most of the places said they were out of helium and I knew I was going to be out of town and I know I'm going to be getting me a balloon in Disney World with the Mickey ears. So I said, okay, I'll be all right. But I did buy this um, pack. It was 12, I believe. Did it say here? Yeah, 12 pieces. I'm trying not to rattle it. 12 balloons. They're black and you can kind of see a little bit of one right here. It's just a little ghost. So I'm going to blow those up and probably have them around for baby Zaire to mess with. And it, I'm tickled to death about that. Okay, so I actually took these off my um, wall because I've already decorated. Um, but I, I had them laid out. The only I didn't really use them or anything, but I knew I wanted to kind of do some decorations. And I had kind of said I'm going to do black and white and pops of orange. So first of all, I got these two sets of um, pot holders. This says Ghost Pumpkin... Del Verde. I don't know what that says right there in those little Brighton, but there's two of them and I put them up by my um, stove and I'm going to be using these and this is the color pattern that I use the black and white and just little bits of orange because I had the Halloween orange tree and I said, okay, we're going to pop some orange in there. So it's not so bland. And then of course, when you get the pot holders, you got to get the big pot holder. And I only got one of these because I hang it on the side of my um, refrigerator for a quick access. A lot of times I don't even use these, but um, I learned because I do a different theme every year. So I've got about four or five <laughs> brand new looking ones that's got different themes for each season. So I'm starting to use them. 
um, every year because guys, after I use it a couple times and wash it, I mean, I know you can keep using it, but I just buy a new one for $1.25. And you know, this truck is always in style no matter what color it is and how appropriate for it to be a black truck with all these little bats and things on there for Halloween. And then of course I got just one of these. I was gonna get another one, I was gonna go back, but of course they're gone. They have different styles and different sayings, but because I was doing the black and white with pops of orange theme, I went ahead and just got this one. And I can't see what that says, it says Del Vary. Oh, do I sound ding-dongish today? That's delivery. <laughs> I'm too excited, too, too doggone excited to get to Florida so I can go to the Dollar Tree. Honestly, I, I wanna go to Disney World and all the parks, but I am more excited to go look and check out some stores in Disney. I love shopping at Disney I, in Flo Orlando, Florida. They have some great deals. Every time I go there, and I hope I'm not jinxing myself, they always <laughs> have great deals. And look at this, I'm, I'm losing it here. This is Gold's Pumpkin Delivery. <laughs> And I happen to think this is such a crisp, clean look for Halloween. Okay, let me do a couple of food things and then I'm gonna show you some of the bottles that I took off of my mantle. And then I'm gonna do a short probably later on this evening to put out soon before Halloween. But I did get a few food items. Um, I did pick up, even though I was not going to at the very last minute because I said, well, I'm gonna do some orange, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it anyway. I picked up this Bakersfield Sprinkles and they're of course the Halloween with the black, white, and pops of orange. And it's not a big one, it's a 2.4 um, ounce size, but sometimes I buy, I have bought the ones with the variety in it and I have it and I don't use that much. I'm only using this for some cookies that I'm going to make and I'm gonna make a pumpkin cake um, a small pumpkin. It's not even a big a full size cake that I'm going to put these over. And, I, and if I have any left over, I'll sprinkle them over the rest of the cupcakes that I make for a little thing, a get together. I'm not doing a party or nothing because we're not going to be here, but we're going to have people over the night before we leave to go to, to um, Orlando, Florida. And I said, oh, what an opportunity time to get rid of all these sweets. Because when I get back, I'm going to clean house, right? Okay. I did pick up, and I'm not the the biggest cherry pie um, I don't care for cherry pie that much. I like it, but I never make it good. So I don't know if it's gonna work this time or not, but I got this Mother's Made. I have never seen it before. This is the cherry uh, filling on topping, filling or topping, excuse me, it's 15 ounces. It is good until July 15th of 2025. Now I mostly got this for, um, Thanksgiving, I'm thinking about doing not necessarily a cherry pie with a crust, but a cherry situation going on. And I'll tell you about that recipe if I decide to do that. And if I don't, it's still good. And I might do something in Christmas and make an actual cherry pie. I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm too excited about getting through Halloween. Okay, I did pick up some of these honey buns. Uh, I hadn't been seeing them in a long time. I almost picked up the little, the white powdered donuts to take on my trip, but I kind of said, Wendy, you're not, you know, you know, you kind of calm down with these sweets. Um, Cause I do love some sweets, I'm not gonna lie. But this is that Mrs. Freshly's and that that's one of the brands that they always have at the Dollar Tree. Now these are good. I, I did get these to take on the trip, but the thing is there's only four of them and I'm gonna give one, we, I have four people in my particular car and I said, well, we can have one um, maybe for like a snack or even a breakfast if it comes down to that. They're pretty big in size, not gigantic, but the only thing is this icing, if you don't, you're not used to it, it kind of gets in the roof of my, my mouth and I don't really like that. So I don't know if I'll actually eat one or not, but they're 4.2, um, they're four two ounce um, individual wrapped honey buns. And I think they're good till like November or something. I saw it said November 10th of 2022, and but they'll be for our trip that we're gonna be going. I'll keep those in the car just to have something on hand so we're not spending a fortune. And then the last food item I got, and I second guessed myself a hundred times because I do like moon pies, but I don't know if I'm gonna like this particular moon pie, which is the pumpkin spice and everything nice. Now it is mini, I will, I, I'm not taking these on the trip. I'm gonna save them for when we have Thanksgiving. I'll put them out individual and see if other people like them because a lot of people in my family do like pumpkin spice and I do like it. Um, I just have to take it in spurts. Now I will try one. I may even do a test on it. I don't know. 
Um, I've seen a lot of uh, my YouTubers that I watch do things with these moon pies and I thought they're just absolutely wonderful ideas to do. So I did pick this up. There is um, six mini pies um, with the pumpkin spice. We're gonna be into Thanksgiving, November, pretty doggone soon. And it says it's good until February 5th of 2023, if you can see that right there. So I will be, um, seeing what these taste like pretty soon in the near future. I thought I had to have it. Okay, I did pick up some bottles and I had started doing my little mantle and I'm gonna show you a couple of them. Now, I um, have seen this a long time ago and I actually did not buy this. I actually had this in somewhere else and I said, well, I'm gonna show you an example of, of things you could buy that could be for different seasons. This could be for Valentine's. This could be for random days if you just wanted to have it at Christmas with some holly or something in it. And you can also put it on an apothecary uh, mantle place <laughs> if you want to do it for Halloween. It's distributed by the Greenbrier Industries and it's just a cute little vase. So I picked that up um, and I wanted to show it how the different is. And this is another one that I bought last year. I'm just giving you an idea of ones I have. I didn't buy these recently. I've had them, but I've seen both of these in my stores and I know you can get them. This right here, I just think is lovely. I, I've been, I put this out sometimes in January because I do a, a whole silver mantle in January for some reason. I don't know what is the thing with me in silver. Um, it has a little top thing. I just think stuff like this for back then, this was, these actually were a dollar when it was still a dollar store and they're distributed by the Greenbrier Industries. So both of these are going, you know, back on the mantle and I will do a short on showing you what that is. Now, this one I did pick up recently for the $1.25, also distributed by the Greenbrier Industries. It is, this is coming off, which is gonna be easy to do. It has a little cork thing. I'm gonna pull this off, I'll probably take it off. Or I may interchange this little thing here with something else spooky. I haven't decided yet, but what got me to get this one, because they had different ones, is the color of this glass and the size and the shape of it. It wasn't so big and it wasn't so little. And I said, yeah, that'll work perfect on my apothecary little um, thing I'm doing. Then I found this one and no lie, I love this purple, but when I, I'm gonna show you what it says, but at first I said, this is something about poison. <laughs> I know you can't really see that. I can't even see it, but I'll read what it says. It says, blossom and blooms. It has nothing to do with Halloween whatsoever. So I don't know if you can actually see that um, or not. There's no tag on it. It just says it's distributed by the Greenbrier Industries. But I love that it has a different size to it. You know, it's a little bit almost the same size as this one, but this color, I'll mix and match. And I thought, oh, I love that color. And I also can use this in the spring with some purple pop to it. And it does say blossom and bloom. And it has the little pop cop top. And on top of that, I, I needed bottles. Mm -hmm. Then I found this last bottle here. And I love it. It has more. Um, yeah, it's green kind of, it looks like a basket weave. I thought, what? This is so gorgeous. And it has a pop top and it was a little bit bigger. I mean, not a lot bigger, but it had a different um, size to it. So I picked up those for that reason alone. Okay, I think that's all of my Halloween stuff and I'm, I'm positive except what I find in um, Orlando. I'm not gonna have any more Halloween things because now we gotta start focusing on Thanksgiving and my birthday and Christmas and my birthday. And with that said, I did get a few um, items that I I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I have ran out of my peppermint soap I, from Soft Soap. I don't have any more, they don't sell it yet. And I've been scrounging around trying to find some body soap other than Bath and Body Works because it's so fragrant and I just need something light. Never, I know people have hauled these all summer and all spring, summer, whenever they came out. I passed it up because I had so many peppermint soap bottles that I bought at um, Ollie's on the clearance and I finally ran out and I'm so bummed out because I missed my peppermint soap. But this is Body Organics and this is Tropical Scented. Now, I don't know how it's going to be. Um, I did buy another one. I didn't even bother to haul it by Pro Silk. Um, it's in my shower. Um, it said it was Tropical Mango and it was horrendous when I got it home. It smelled good in the store got home and when I bathed with it, I'm like, oh, I don't like the smell. But this one here is the same thing. It smells good in the bottle, <laughs> but I don't know how it's going to smell on me. And I don't want to spend a fortune on body soap. That's one of the things I, I don't want to do. I got enough Bath and Body Works nice stuff that I'll take on vacations like that, but I don't like to spend it for everyday use. And I learned that when you have kids, because if you get stuff like this and you spend a fortune on it, it could be a half a bottle in, in one day's wash and I couldn't put up with that. So this is 20 fluid ounces and we're gonna see how that is. Body Organics and it does smell good. 
And I did pick up a couple, a pair of these socks by um, Juncture. Um, this right here is the um, five to nine size for your foot. It does have two pairs in it. Now I'm not very a fan of this gray um, thing here in the gray toe. Uh, I usually like the all black, but I did get the half sock because in Orlando, it's going to be a hit or miss. You don't know if it's going to be cold. You don't know if it's going to be a, a rain. I know it's a storm going on right now and it better hurry up and do its thing and move on. And I, I'm praying for those people that if it did affect you in any way, I'm not insensitive at all. I've been there, done that, and it's scary. But I hope when I go on our trip in just days that it's going to be okay. And um, these juncture socks right here, I'm... I've worn them before, they're thick. I got them for walking around in case it's rainy and if it's cooler um, and I wanted to have a couple pairs of socks. So, um, you know, just in case for the trip, I have a thousand pairs of socks, but they are, I need new ones. Okay, real quick, I know we're running a long way here, but I got just a few more items. I did find some more Arthur stuff. This right here, um, I'm sorry to put that close to you. There's a fly on my thing because my son opened up the door and here they come. But here is Arthur, and he is a pillow. And I got this for baby Zaire. I'm not gonna put this up with the other um, little characters. I'm actually only going to let him play with this probably on our trip. Um, and it's got the little plush thing here, and I thought this was so cute, and it's so soft, and I think that he could play with it. I don't know if it has an age name on it or not, but he's going to get it. And for $1.25, I thought that would be a cute little thing for him to hold on to while we're driving all of this way to Florida. But I did find another character, but the only thing is, this is Francine. I think it is. I'm, I'm going on a, a limb that it's Francine. But the thing is, is Francine always had yellow beret of uh, Brett's and this girl here has red so if I'm saying the wrong one and this isn't Francine who's supposed to be like the character of a monkey um let me know but I had to pick through them and I love her face I mean when I say I love her face I love her eyes I love her little part here and I this was the best one with her hair and I was like okay um are they going to have more characters? Now I'm on the lookout. But for $1.25, I've got Arthur, um, his baby sister, DW, and um, the bunny one. So, yeah, we're going to bust a bunny. Um, we're going to keep adding to it, and we'll see what we find. I did also pick up, just on a, lim a limb here, to these four pieces of dice. And I got them really for baby Zaire to play with. They're the blue and the yellow and the red. So for $1.25, it'll be something cute to play with. And I also am thinking about using it for a game we're going to do maybe at Thanksgiving or Christmas. Okay. I, I'm glad you hung out this long because I want to show you a couple of items and I'm almost to the end that when I picked it up, I was, I did, I said a little squeal. It was at that store that was at the, when I was on lunch. And I said, there is no way they're selling these things for $1.25. So, and they're also going in my apothecary, but they're also going to go for my decorations for Thanksgiving. Now here is like a, a yellow citrine kind of color yellow, maybe even like, well, it's more yellow. And here's one that is that amber orange. Okay, so you see that, and it's got the little wrapping, it's got the little top, and I thought it was a, a cork, and I thought, well, I already got plenty of bottles, no biggie. But then I made my son open this one up right quick. It had the clear one. And guys, there's a little button right here, and I'm gonna turn on some more lights. These bottles have fairy lights already in them. If you can see that, you don't have to go buy them separately um, and anything, they're inside that. And he said, do the white one because it's gonna show up the best. And he was not kidding. Look at that. I hope it's not blind, blinding you guys. Let me see if it'll go. Look there. It's just, I mean, I guess I'm just flabbergasted with these lights. So I'm not going to keep blinding you, but yes, I didn't get one, not two, but I got three of these bottles in these colors for $1.25 a piece. And they're, I mean, I, they don't, they just say they're distributed by the Greenbrier Industries. And when I saw it, I, I wanted all of them. I wanted more, but I only got three because... I just needed three in my life with fairy tale, fairy lights in it. I can't believe it. Okay, a couple more items and then I'm going to be done. I did pick up one more pink um, pumpkin because 
Um, I didn't have the pink. I had a bunch of different ones. The one, I thought I had the pink, and then I'm gonna show you the colors that I have. I already had these from last year. This is that cream one and kind of like a champagne color, and I'm mixing these together with some baby blue. I kind of told you that already, guys. And this is kind of what it looks like. And I did buy one sign already for Thanksgiving because it's gonna be here before you know it. That baby blue is going to be in it, so you can kind of get an idea of the decoration colors I'm doing in my house this year, and a lot of people are doing that same kind of theme as well. Oh, I forgot about this dude. He got put out in the end. I did pick up a little um, ghost with that galvanized steel. I thought this was cute. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, so I did pick that up, and my apologies, and then I did pick up the tag just fell on the floor, but <laughs> there we go. Um, it, it was um, distributed by the Green Bar Industries, I already know, and it says Happy Harvest, and it also has my colors in it. So I thought, let me go ahead and pick that up to put on one of my doors. I bought several of these last year, but none of them were this color, and I thought, yep, gotta have that. And then last but not least, they're bringing back their basket guys. I picked up this kind of fall looking color basket to put all my goodies in. And for $1.25, it's pretty doggone deep. They had tons of different colors, but I left it at this one. And I'm going to be using this for some things for the fall time. So with that said, guys, the next time you see me on a haul, I'm going to be in Florida and I'm hoping I can bring you a nice Dollar Tree haul on location. And please subscribe like, share, and comment. And until the next one, take care.